Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be talking about the Canary Island called Lanzarote, which is uh, part of Spain. And at the end of the video, I've also got a bonus feature, which um, includes day trips to other islands and Morocco. So let's jump right into it. Now, Lanzarote has a range of resorts like Tenerife to suit different people. Porta del Carmen is their liveliest resort, however, and that's where you can get a beautiful sandy beach and um, again lots of water sports and um, water sports enthusiasts and um, there's a range of uh, hotels and apartments to choose from and um, there's also lots of bars, restaurants, um, supermarkets, shops um, again lots of things um, again that you can do and um, you can also lie on the beautiful sandy beach as well um, and uh, we did go to for a day trip to Porta del Carmen and yes it was a nice place again at night there's uh, lots of bars uh, restaurants and nightclubs and so yes, it is definitely the liveliest resort in Tenerife. There's also two quieter resorts, Costa Tiquise. It is a large resort and um, it um, also features a water park and um, our apartments in the end um, was very close to the water park but um, unfortunately I got ill on holiday and um, I wasn't feeling too good so um, I didn't get to go to the water at the water park um, unfortunately but um, again it, it looks like a nice water park again this in Costa Tegishi it's a large resort um, and you can do water sports on the beach there's lots of bars and more restaurants, cafes, there are supermarkets around um, but our apartments were tucked away um, so far from the beach um, or <laughs> um, that we stayed in in the end. We were supposed to go um, and stay in the Tequisi Sol apartments which were four star apartments not all that far away from the town centre and the beach but um, because they were doing those apartments so we got moved then to um, some other apartments um, again the other apartments uh, featured live, live music and the uh, karaoke um, nights and um, there's also two smallish pools as well um, again and um, those apartments um, were only two or yeah about two star rating so um, again it was very basic compared to what we should have stayed in <laughs> uh, some four star apartments um, with Sunworld at the time but at Sunworld um, the tour operator is not going anymore um, so 
Um, so that there are other tour operators um, like Air Tours and other like Jet Two holidays, and um, they also go to the Canary Islands. So and you can fly into Arecibo um, Airport from a wide range of airports um, in the UK. Um, the same as Tenerife. Um, there's not as many flights as um, mainland Spain and the Balearics. Um, I would just like to say. Um, so, unless you probably go to a large airport, say like Heathrow, Gatwick, Manchester. Um, or say Glasgow in Scotland so and you may get more flight times there um, but generally small to medium sized airports you you would probably only get a few flight times or the odd flight time um, flying there so um, but again it depends really what tour operator you go with obviously to the flight times again um, from the UK airports um, they usually take um, around four four and a half hours maybe just maybe just under four hours if you say fly, uh, fly from say Gatwick or Heath, Heathrow because it's further south but usually about between four four and a half hours is the estimated flight time to the Canary Islands in in general. Um, there are probably some airports with um, in Scotland that may take say four and three quarters, but it just really de it depends um, on the top the tour operator on obviously. The weather at the time. Now moving on to the weather in Can in the Canary Islands, I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, that it is absolutely beautiful weather. Mo uh, virtually any time of the year. In the summer, you get this beautiful breeze, a Canary Island breeze and it's just a light breeze and um, so they're not hot and humid places they are hot in the summer but you do get that light breeze which is re really beautiful to have and it makes you feel that it's not so hot um, or humid um, so yes you can get lovely weather um, um, so yes that's what I would say again transport you can hire a car easily what we did to go round the island for seven days um, you can also uh, book um, excursions um, with a tour operator. Um, and just sometimes they may uh, throw in um, a free blanket trip as well, which is a half a day excursion um, around the area, which is 
re really nice again to go on. Mum and Dad are, have been on the blanket trips um, in other places and have really enjoyed them. Um, and they're free with your, your tour operator's free half a day trip and also uh, you can basically um, car hire is again explained so it's generally cheap but with it being an island it's more expensive than the mainland um, prices um, of uh, food again are more expensive again on the islands than on the mainland so restaurants um, are, are generally more expensive and bars pubs and clubs and um, to what they are on the the mainland um, but um, Porta del Carmen again is your liveliest resort for nightlife. Pla Playa Blanca um, has a beautiful beach, um, but again, it's a quiet resort. It's um, quite small um, compared to Costa de Quise and Porta del Carmen. Um, there's also other small resorts as well, um, but again, they are um, quiet and uh, low key. Um, but uh, Costa Tegese also, our resort features a, a golf course for golf enthusiasts. Um, and you can get water sports as well. Um, I would say, um, as for the beach, uh, you, in Costa del I have seen more beautiful beaches, uh, like in Porto del Carmen and Playa Blanca. Um, you go towards the northern side of uh, Lanzarote Island and um, again it's a lot cooler there in the, the north of the island and really the northern part of the island um, really reminds you of um, being in somewhere in the UK um, but um, again the southern part of the island um, again is uh, warmer and you get this beautiful Canary Island breeze and uh, that's what you get with um, all the Canary Islands. Um, another, th another thing um, is um, there's lots of types of accommodation like apartments, hotel studios, different um, star ratings so again um, to find out what your accommodation type and um, features um, is to have a look in your um, with the tour operators if you can uh, before uh, before you go unless you probably go on a last minute deal where you you don't know where you're you're going to and then obviously it's more difficult um, until the last minute so uh, but um Again, if there's any flight time changes, then uh, tour operators should let you know. Um, in advance, or any accommodation changes, the tour operator should know and uh, let you know in advance. Um, 
that holiday we did manage to claim some money back um, which was really good um, because we were di downgraded from obviously four star apartments to these two star apartments um, so um, we were but uh, we basically got some money back which is good so if you are in that situation then you can go to your tour operator if you've been say downgraded on your accommodation and claim some money back that way also uh, also and um, there's also a bonus feature which it in that I'm going to mention now which is that day trips that it, you can get to go to other islands uh, such as Tenerife, Fertiventura and um, those other Canary Islands, Gomas, Fijero um, and the glorious island uh, which is again not far from from Lanzarote and um, you uh, can get um, also a day trip to Morocco and um, anybody fancies uh, going to Africa for the day and um, to experience uh, Morocco then you can get day trips uh, to there and excursions so again plenty of excursions um, again around the island um, so yes and um, again plenty to do on the island um, so yes and um, it's a nice island to go and see it's very beautiful and um, what 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 can i say I and mean, it has like two different parts um of like weather um which again was really fascinating to see um so yes and um, it is definitely worth going to and exploring and um, so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my uh, next travel slideshow and um, i'm going to be doing a slideshow of all the canary islands that i've, vi uh, that I've visited which is at uh, tenerife and lanzarote so they are coming up tomorrow and that will give you a, a taster for what their islands are actually like um, and where, uh, to see whether, whether the islands are going, going to be for you in the first, first place. So yes, again if you haven't already done so please like and subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next vlog which um, is going to be an introduction to the canary islands so thank you for watching bye for now